The Gotthard Base Tunnel in Switzerland is the longest in the world and a key railway link between northern and southern Europe. Swiss Federal Railways is making every effort to ensure the tunnel infrastructure is maintained at a consistently high level. Crucial to this strategy is preventive rail grinding by Foslo. Traffic here is very dense, with the tunnel being used by both fast passenger trains and heavy goods trains. Pressure exerted on the track is considerable, which is why we've taken the decision to grind the rail several times a year. This course of action allows for consistently high surface quality, the reduction of wear and tear and an increase in the service life of the rails. In the camp today is engine driver Mario Vola from Swiss Railways together with coordinator Michael Fromberger from Foslo. He provides the other members of the grinding machine team with up to the mid information on the route. The HSG2 can grind at speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour. It removes all surface rail defects before any serious damage can occur, rather like people brushing their teeth. After a 60-kilometer journey northwards, the grinding run comes to an end. The HSG2 has its allotted slot in the timetable. A few minutes later, a fast passenger train overtakes. Time for the abrasive wheels to be changed. All 384 of them are replaced by Foster experts in a matter of minutes. Engineer Ronnie Voik is now in charge of HSG2. We've changed the abrasive wheels, turned the engine around and are waiting for the green light now from the train controller. It's time to grind the southbound line, a journey of 57 kilometers through the tunnel. With over 200 goods trains and some 65 passenger trains using the tunnel every day, the rails will inevitably suffer corrugations and other surface defects. Their regular removal rules out more serious rail defects, including rail breakage. This ensures a smoother journey, less noise and reduced wear and tear. The outcome is greater safety and economic efficiency, thanks to preventive grinding by Fosler.